It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution podcast is brought to you by Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsi Pharmacy. Welcome to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsey, founder and CEO of the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center. We've got a good show for you today. One of my favorites, Mark Zock. He is the founder of Dinner Dude, and he has done catering for our team for a lot of years. And I was so excited to find out that most recently he got on the ketogenic eating program and actually lost 70 pounds. So, so excited to hear about his story and also more about his company. And thank you so much, Stacy, and thank each one of you for joining us today on Dr. Hootsie's Wellness Revolution. I believe that you need a doctor and a staff of professionals to coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you've got energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life without using pharmaceutical drugs. Today, I want to introduce you to a longtime friend of ours here at Hootsie Health and Wellness Center, Mark Zock. He is the founder and owner of Dinner Dude which is a uh, catering company and a uh, company that, that prepares meals for individuals uh, specifically uh, for their medical needs. So, Mark, thanks for joining us today. Hey, I'm so glad to be here. I'm just honored to be here uh, today to talk to you about what Dinner Dude does. Well, and, and we want to hear about that. Tell us, how did you get interested in food to begin with? Um, you know, it started when I was a kid. I got hungry. Um, you know, the, the uh, growing up, uh, we didn't have a lot of convenience foods. We didn't have hot pockets in the freezer. We you didn't have a lot of processed meat, you know, not, not a lot of sandwiches and stuff. There was, you know, eggs and eggs and bacon and butter and things that you had to cook. So I had to learn how to cook right. um, early on. So I'd watch Channel 8 or PBS when I got home, see the chefs on TV and thought, hey, I can do that. And I started doing it. And You're I, eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. How many eight years old go in and watch the chefs and learn how to, and, beca- and then grow up to become a chef? <laughs> That's yeah, great. Yeah. So, uh, so you went, when, once you went off to college, uh, you went into hotel and restaurant uh, management over there at the University of Houston. That's right. And so, tell me about that experience. I understand they have a great school over there. They have a fantastic program, um, world class. Well, I mean, I think there's probably three in the world that are that that caliber, and they do a fantastic job um, training people for the hospitality industry. Right. And to be owners. So that's where the, you know, real benefit to go into a program like that is. So I knew going through there, I was going to be an owner, not, you know, didn't want to work for somebody right. else. But, yeah. So. But you got some training. You did mm-hmm. end up, uh, tell us about your experience with the uh, doing cooking for them when you, when you were on ships, it, w- working with A&M, I guess, weren't you? Right. Uh, a while back, Texas A&M for a long time had a summer school at sea program where they train students in uh, merchant maritime right. occupations. So we'd go out for 10 weeks during the summer and travel all over the world and breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, you know, while we were aboard ship and, you know, out and so you were the, you were the chef. Yeah, that's right. That's mm-hmm. great. And then when you, ca- when you finish that, you ended up going to work for one of the finer finer uh, restaurant establishments in the country. That's the Papa's Brothers. That's right. They man, I learned so much working for that organization in that ten years I spent there. Uh, standards, processes, systems, how to make things the same way every time. How to do how to structure your organization so that um, hey, you just get it right. And if you screw up, which we often do um, because we're humans, right? Um, you know, we know how to fix it. Yeah, that's great. And so then you decided that you were ready. Once you got well-trained and learned the business from the pros, you decided you're going to go into business for yourself. That's right, yeah. And that was back in 2007? Two, two, into 2007, uh, early 2008, um, uh, I encountered um, a very strict physician-supervised weight loss program that realized the people who d- that are choosing to do that are going to need some help. Right. Mm-hmm. So I started uh, pers- uh, operating as a personal chef for those clients, and um, it just grew. Well, so tell me about that. How did you get your clients? Um, the doctors would send them to me. I just took flyers to doctors' offices that were um, serving that particular um, protocol, Right. and they would send me their clients. 
Well, that's tremendous. So you built mm-hmm. that business up. It, I know you also do catering because we've used you on um, mm-hmm. numerous different occasions here at the office, at my home, for various events. And you make absolutely marvelous meals. They're just delicious. Thank you. So uh, w- what percentage of your business is the personalized chef for people that have medical conditions that need to have their meals prepared? And what percent of it would be catering? Well, we're doing about for personalized nutrition where we're really taking, drilling down on what the individual needs and serving them uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks for about a month at a time, that's about 25% of the business. Right. Um, our prepared meals and for other, you know, uh, dietetic for keto, HCG, paleo, gluten-free guests, um, that would make up another, you know, 60% of the business. And then the catering falls down and probably around overall catering because it's it's seasonal for us right we spend a lot of time catering november december sure and then you know a little bit during a little bit during spring um but uh catering is just kind of um uh, up and down it hadn't been a true focus for us we spend right. i want to spend more time uh drilling down with uh individual guests because i'm passionate about helping people gain health and enjoy their life more Right. That's my focus. Well, tell show. us tell us about your own health experience, because I know I noticed over the last year you lost a lot of weight, and I ask you, what have you been doing? Yeah. Well, I did uh, over the past year since uh, July a year ago. I uh, started the ketogenic diet and uh, combined that with intermittent fasting. Now, okay, ketogenic. For those of you that aren't aware of it, most of you may be aware because we've talked about it. It's a diet that's high in good, healthy oils and fats, eggs, butter avocados, oils, um, cheeses, hard cheeses, and that makes up a large portion of the, of, the, uh, of the diet, of the eating program. And then you have green vegetables and pour natural butter on it, real butter on it, and then eat a little bit of meat. And, but the key is to eliminate the simple carbohydrates, the grain products, wheat products, you know, the pizza, pasta, cookies, cakes, and those things, corn, uh, potatoes, and rice, all are simple star- are starches, which are simple carbohydrates, and they break down. Their sugar molecules hook together. As soon as you put them in your mouth and start to digest them, they turn into sugar. It raises your sugar content in your blood. It causes you to produce insulin in the, from the pancreas, which drives then that sugar into fat and gets you fat. And uh, it causes insulin resistance because you have all this sugar in your, in your bloodstream. And so you gain fat, and then next thing you know, you got diabetes or pre-diabetic syndrome and high blood pressure, and you're overweight, and you got heart disease, and it just goes on and on. A whole host of health problems come from eating a high-carbohydrate diet, which, incredibly enough, the government and the American Heart Association, Diabetic Association, have been promoting for years. And I may be a little bit cynical, but you know what? If you want to keep people sick, make sure they eat a high-carbohydrate diet. That way they'll have all these health problems and you can sell them drugs and make a fortune and get them hospitalized. So don't ever trust the government. When it's trying to tell you how to eat, don't trust it. The best thing you can do is to eat a high fat, low carb diet rather than a low carb, uh, rather than a low fat, high carb diet. We've seen over the last 50 years, 60 years, a huge increase in weight gain. Used to be 16% of Americans were overweight in 1960, and then they began to promote this low-fat, high-carb diet. Now we've got 70% of the population overweight. Half of those people, 35% of the population, are obese. Diabetes is going through the ceiling. Uh, Knee replacement, hip replacements, all these uh, from degenerative arthritis are going through the ceiling. And it's a a real financial benefit for the pharmaceutical companies and the the, uh, all the people in medicine and conventional medicine, I like to say they keep people sick and uh, we, and you literally become their cash cows. So we, what we recommend here is the ketogenic eating program, which you follow. Now you started that a year ago. How much weight have you lost? 65 pounds, uh, 68 now today. That's yeah. tremendous. Mm-hmm. And so you're doing intermittent fasting. Explain that to us. So I keep my eating uh, in a window of 12 uh, p.m to 6 p.m. So right. I only eat for that six hours a day. Right. So I'm doing uh, eat for six hours and fast for 18. That's great. So, uh, and then during that window, I'm focusing on clean clean keto. Um, since I'm exercising heavier, I will uh, schedule my workout about uh, noon 
And so right after my workout, I'm able to eat, and then I'll, I will have some fructose or glucose along with some fat and some right. protein right after, and then I will go to more keto for keto. the rest of the day. That's, uh, that's really key, the intermittent fasting. I myself fast by about 24 hours, eat one meal a day. In the morning, though, I have bulletproof coffee, so I have coffee with, mm. with either co- – usually I use coconut oil. And a little bit of stevia, and that's my that's what I have a big cup of coffee, bulletproof coffee, and I'm not hungry all day. And then I'll have a little something when I get home, a ketogenic. Yeah. And if, once you start eating this way and get down to a normal weight, and you're eating ketogenically, you just don't have these sugar highs and sugar lows where you're hungry. I never feel starved. No, yeah, I never feel you're hungry. Satisfied all day long. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, that's that's important, and. And you had had you had a pre diabetic condition and high blood pressure. How's that done? Oh, uh, that's been undone for quite some quite a long time. Yeah. yeah. So, simply by changing your eating lifestyle, you can heal yourself. Hippocrates was the father of medicine. He said, "Let food be your medicine. Let medicine be your food." The foundation of all good health is good, healthy eating habits, and so. Mark Zock at Dinner Dude can provide you for that. If you need some personalized attention, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, you can visit us on the web, uh, dinnerdude.com. Dinner dude, dinner dude. Dinner yeah, dinnerdude.com. Um, you can call us or come by our store. We have a storefront on uh, Memorial Drive between Derry Ashford and Eldridge okay. at 14775 Memorial Drive. And um, if you don't mind, uh, I have a, a special promo code sure, go ahead. For, uh, for everybody who's watching this podcast. It's, you can use HOTZE, H-O-T-Z-E. 2019. That's HOTC 2019 uh, on our website, and you'll get a 15% discount on any order uh, through the end of October. All right, we're going to do that. That's the better. That's better than any other uh, discount that we got out there. That's great. So, yeah. Well, listen, I'm proud of you. Congratulations on your success, and we look forward to continuing to do business with you over the years. Thanks buddy. so much. Okay. It's always a pleasure to serve you, Doctor. Good. Thank each one of you for joining us today. If you want to get on a path of health and wellness naturally, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Hotsey Health and Wellness Center at 281-698-8698. A special thanks to Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsey Pharmacy, proud sponsor of Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution podcast. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.